Hello everybody and welcome back we're to XCOM 2 where apparently my endgame timer is bugged now. <laughs> this game has so many bugs it's incredible. You discover a new bug every time you play this game. So, um, didn't actually look it up but I'm pretty sure you have 25 days before, before you get a game over. But we only have 13 days because I think on my last playthrough I went down to 13 days. But no matter, we are gonna kill this mission and hopefully reduce our um, avatar progress anyways. And then we're just gonna kill different stuff and reduce it even further. Okay. I think we are... Well, we do we really not have a single heavy yet? Ah, damn it. I really shouldn't take tired people, but I also... Tired people are a giant pain in the ass, but I need a heavy. And I need one that's not a squaddy, so we are taking a tired person. As I know, I will. You will probably mess up my entire mission, aren't you? Okay, I think this is pretty good here. That bug is dumb. That bug is dumb as fuck. I think at the rate this game is going, and I also am not entirely sure that this mission will actually reduce our avatar progress, but I'm pretty sure, but if it doesn't then we're boned. Because everybody's gonna get tired. I also want to make all of, almost all the people I took on this except for the sniper, and um, yeah, except for the sniper are and the tired person are not tired at all, so if I if everybody's tired after this, I will be pissed. But that's just pretty much that's how it's gonna go. Our contacts and the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. And I also really hope we don't have. Um, chosen spawn on this mission because that would make would actually make for an annoying mission well okay the chosen here comes to us so it's okay i i've had i think it was no it wasn't this mission but it was on the next story mission which is also really a long mission i had the sniper spawn and he was really annoying for a long time because it took a lot of turns to get to him and during the entire time leading up to that, I wasn't able to use my sniper because he kept tracking shot in her. Well, even though the loading streams might seem long, they are just like a tiny bit of what they were in XCOM 2 before the patch or before the DLC. Because the first time I played through XCOM 2 at all was just the base game because I wanted to experience it because I'd never played it. The loading times are like 10 minutes. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Okay. Funny thing is most of the time when he says neutralize all hostile contacts, you actually don't need to neutralize all hostile contacts, which is some of the few Missions where you actually don't need to kill all the aliens. Should I go up here? Probably to I see if we have any me. aliens sitting right there. We do not. Because she says, I will always find you, or something like that. Um, we could just bum rush the, the objective using the Reaper. Probably get away with it, too. What would appear to be a single entity is actually a swarm oh, of tiny robot units working in close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. Those things are quite annoying. Double they don't time. really do much, but they knock out your units. And they have a lot of health. Ten four. Mm. 
So, actually, I need to be a little bit careful on this mission because this mission has the possibility of really fucking us over. Location confirmed. Because we have our heavy is tired and our heavy is tired. Yeah. And we only have one heavy, which is also bad. The power guides me. Okay, so I hope the, the squad moves towards me, not away from me. The time for hiding is over. They move towards me, and the other guy is also quite annoying. He gives five shields to everybody around him, which is why I usually just um, mind control them if I have the chance. But I don't because I don't have any. Okay, so she has a hundred percent shot on the Spectre, but only seventy-seven when we're going for. I should have given her the fucking. I don't think this is a real seventy-seven because we have uh we probably have a buff on her anyways. Well, it was definitely a real miss. Our so resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. It's For this, tough. it would be really useful to have Mox with us, but he's tired, so... Fuck that. Okay, so... I don't know if I can safely melee here I really want to he can't see anything I might just wait what kind of blow up that is not useful that is not useful at all I think I might just wanna oh really I can't hit both of you that is dumb Okay, so I might just not do anything. Um, both of these units are not immediately a problem. I want to get the Reaper down as low as I can. Or kill it. The shield bearer will be quite annoying, even though he doesn't he's not gonna do any damage to us. Okay, so I will have to melee anyway, so we'll just see if we find a new pod, which I really hope we don't. But we really might. Okay, we didn't. Um, that is good. Can't kill it. With our Reaper. I'm pretty sure the Shield bearers are hard coded to uh, do their shield attack on the first turn, no matter what. But in case they aren't, I will parry and hope that he's gonna attack. Uh, he's gonna attack our. Um, he's gonna attack the the melee unit. Uh, well, not the not the ranger, basically. Okay, so we at least killed no this dude, and I don't think we can do much else here. I think he's well, since everybody doesn't have cover anyways. Wait, who do, who can we give it? Hmm, that's interesting. It's not really useful. Because I don't think she can actually one-shot. Can I reach him with a grenade from here? If I could... I can! Okay, so maybe I can actually kill him this turn. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're gonna give one we turn to her. To one action to her. We are... Oh no, she can't shoot. She can't actually shoot with her sniper. I'm done. I am completely done. 
I'll blow this up, this guy up anyways, just for shits and giggles. And I'll shoot at him with my pistol, also for shits and giggles. Maybe it'll make them. Better. I don't think he's gonna attack anyone. I think he's gonna be annoying. And we do have a chosen spawn. Something. I. It'll be fine. We'll see how. Okay, so you know this. Oh yeah, she can now. She can now summon stun lances, which is dumb. You will never Just real dumb. I hate that. We just picked up the chosen She's probably assassin's gonna take... energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. Okay, so he does ex absolutely nothing this round. I think we're just gonna sit here and wait for the assassin. We need this this position isn't really bad for dealing with her. Because she has, she does have places to hide, but no buildings. Buildings are always a problem. Okay, since, so I will just deal with everybody getting tired anyways. And I will wait for her here, basically. Well, I should go get away from that thing because it provides good cover. Yeah, so basically we're gonna wait for about three turns. I will just reposition everybody a little bit. And just wait for the assassin to come to us. And then I, I'll kill her. As quickly as possible. I also hate this bug. That's another bug because he's actually standing right here. But it doesn't look like it. So I'll move him again. Move them again, the bug usually resolves. I will put her here in an effort to make the assassin run right past me. I see everything. She's gonna reload her gun. And then basically I'm gonna put her up on the high ground because that is I think the assassin's probably gonna try to hide behind one of these corners then. And I'm basically just gonna do the same thing I did last time. By um, just using my claymore and shooting the claymore with a grenade which does massive damage to her. And I just wasted my auto reloader. That's fine. You are full ammo, you are fine, you are fine. You do not ever need to reload your gun. So we'll just wait. And in, because the the chosen in most cases aren't much of a problem. Okay, so I just heard a door open. Somewhere? Okay, so I think the assassin's gonna be on us on this turn. I know Overwatch does nothing, but if we have a if we do have a pod walking into us, then that would be good to have Overwatch, but it's very unlikely. Okay, so there she is. She's gonna attack our Templar, and she's probably gonna hide behind the. The drop ship. Time you have left. Do not concern yourselves with these simple facilities, Commander. I am a much greater threat to your existence. We've yes, spotted yes, the blah, chosen. Blah. Get ready to fight. And she's gonna summon her dumb little minions. I hope we damage them a lot. Not at all. Everybody sucks. Even though we have a okay. Okay, she's gonna bend and read. Oh, this isn't that bad. It's actually really good. We could maybe one shot her once again. 
Um, okay, so you do want to pick up your soldier as so she can only she can only get a single. Uh, she can only get a single thing at this point, which is great for us. Okay, so I will attack her with my claymore. I shouldn't have put it there. It's probably not shootable. Yep, I'm an idiot, pretty much. But it shouldn't matter that much. We are just gonna... This should trigger a claymore, I think. This is for you. And we'll see how much damage this does, and our reaper should probably be able to finish her off. She has one health left. How clumsy of you. And we have a 90% chance of executing her. Good this went you good. Well, well, well. It would have been unthinkable that I might ever fall in battle. Now, so this is basically the main annoyance of her I'd is that she just break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again though. They're tired you anyways. I'm gonna take their break. Okay, speed, advanced stock is completely useless. Expanded magazine is, is also pretty useless because it's just a tier one. Um, you're not Let's really gonna this. do that much on this turn. We did kill the chosen, which is good. On my way. And well, I am gonna move up here because the Reaper pretty much sees everything. Mm -hmm that the ranger is going to see, so it should be good. You can also move up here. Will do. And since there was a Chosen on this uh, mission, there's probably not going to be very many other pods. I think it's like two pods less or something like that. Mm. Anyways, I think the sniper is gonna be useless no matter what we do, since she doesn't have a very good field of vision. You are just gonna move next to her. Move, move, move. I'm gonna move you up, but I'm not gonna move any further than that because at this point in the turn I really don't want to find the next pod so this is one space further it should be fine probably isn't this is how you find pods yep oh no we didn't Okay, we just found the facility. Okay. So everything's pretty going pretty well. You don't see much else when I move you here, so it should be fine, hopefully. I can move you up quite a bit. So I will. Put you right here so we'll get better vision of the next no part that is hopefully not standing you directly never escape my next to you okay so we do see what do we see we see this dude that's fine on overwatch In a lot of the cases, you can just ignore the turrets. I think I'll see if I just shoot at them. You can also insta-kill the turrets by... Um, you can also insta-kill the turrets by... Using... By just grenading them. Okay, so our heavy can't see the turret from here. 
is unfortunate. But I don't want to waste my grenade on it because I only have one grenade left. I will shoot at it with my sniper. That did almost no damage. But we might be able to kill it with our... We're probably going to be able to kill it with our Reaper since she has plus two armor penetrating. Yeah, so this should be a pretty much... Yeah. So you could actually, if you wanted to, you could take out both of those turrets with one shot. So she can't see a turret from here, or he can't see a turret from here. Um, so we're just gonna take it slow right now. Because there's no reason to rush at this point. Oh, we do know that we can Well, I don't see the second turret, so I could see it right here and get fucked. I don't. I should heal him, though. Wait, why do we only have two heals? Oh, whatever. I really don't want him to get killed. So, we are gonna heal him. I don't want to. I don't want to run into the turret. So I wait. I can't see the turret. So maybe I should just no. I'll put her here. So the fact that we see the turret is really bad because this means the turret sees us. We can shoot at one of our soldiers, and none of them are in good cover. Okay, so we found the next. To hide. The next part, which is good as well, and we actually hit our Overwatch shot, which is amazing. How many is that now? Oh, he actually killed them! Nice, good job. Okay, so I will flank them with my Reaper in order to make sure that we can melee them, because we do depend on melee pretty heavily in this build but we don't want to see the next oh i can either well okay so we're gonna have to take a chance on that because i can either reload her gun or do an attack Okay, so you can attack both of them, you can attack both of them. But this guy's in full cover, so I will attack him first with my ranger, who has the possibility of one shot. Which he hopefully will. And hopefully not find another pot, but I don't think he will. And he did neither of those things. Well, he did fine though. He did find the thing. Um, so we'll just look at what she go. can do. She can shoot at the other stun man, so, which will be useful. Where's my sniper? She can't see anything, which is great. Fantastic! But she did kill one guy on this turn, I think. So I will just... Well, if I move her here, she can at Shooting. least shoot at the guy. But I think that's the guy in full cover, so I should probably not have a very good turn. Oh, that's the other guy. And she hit him too. And she did maximum damage. Well, I guess I'm an idiot. No, the other one. So we will execute him. But finally, get some focus on him to do more damage and stuff. Um, and we'll just finish him off with our Reaper because she. 
needs to level up as quickly. Remember, they are not victims. That being said, if our new Reaper that we get like one day from now has better combat intelligence than her, then I'll probably ignore her completely. Moving to position. Or take the other Reaper on most of my missions and that power level him up or her. I will put you Let's here. We really do not need a new pod this turn. You can move here just so you're a little closer. And get bugged out apparently. I'll just Scanning. put you on Overwatch. So we haven't had problems with our tired soldier yet. Oh, the turret. Of course, I ignored that turret again. But it ignored me too. Turrets are always really funky. So I'm pretty sure that as soon as I move next to the store, I will find the next pod and I'll just take a look see. Tired of waiting around. Yeah, so the. So many victims. Processed with such brutal efficiency. Looks well, more like a refinery. Test than subjects doctor. for some so sort of weapon on that sample. Yeah, just talk over each other, that's fine. Really? There's no enemies in there? Strange. Okay. It's fine with me though. So he might see some enemies now. We'll see. I should probably have moved in with my Reaper first of all. Which would have been the right choice. I'll move her up because I know there's a pot in here somewhere. I'm on the move. I will always find you. And so there you is. Heard the doctor. Secure that canister. There's an alien. Oh, that's not a very life. dangerous pot at all. But I do not want to do find it on this turn. I want to find it on their turn. Okay, so you can't see them from here and so we should be fine moving her here no need to ask twice she'll probably do something stupid once she sees the enemies on the next turn as soon as they move but Get it done. that's how it is and there's nothing we can do about it you can move in too you go here you can't see them Fine. and you really need to move up if we get lucky we can get a shot from that position but I wouldn't count on it okay now they should move into our field of vision which I think they did and we can deal with the troopers pretty well since we have two melee units And I also don't believe there's another pod on this, just because we got the... Oh, we can actually see someone. That is great. Please hit this shot. He did! What did you expect? Well, for you not to hit that shot, but apparently I'm wrong. I like being wrong in this case. Um... So the heavy should take on the mech, even though she can flank. Well, he can also flank the trooper, so we're fine. If you get lucky, he can one-shot the trooper anyways. Please do that. Oh, it's just a regular trooper, so it's actually not really that. Didn't even have to crit the trooper to one-shot it. And we should, okay, so we have an 80% chance here, Heading out. so we'll move closer, and we have a 90% chance here, which is perfect. I will finish off the mech using my 100% shot on my Reaper. Perfect. Bing bang, thank you, man. 
so okay we still have the turrets we don't care about the turrets even though they'll probably shoot us in the back on the next on the last turn why did the music change oh do i care no not at all fuck that the power guides me well maybe if you had a grenade i could have just grenaded the turret Oh, you can actually see somebody. That's bad. He, the turret, it can see somebody. Um, yeah, so we we're lucky that that shot didn't connect because turrets can actually do quite a bit of damage if you let them. Go, go, go! Which I did. Wait, the turret can shoot at you, but you can't shoot at the turret? It's dumb. Okay, just keep moving. Hopefully, the turret will. Wait, we can. Well, let's just shoot it down. Who cares? Seventy-six percent. Good job. It hit the plane. Let's finish it I off with our. Maybe not. We see it from anywhere. From here. Yes, commander. Don't know if I expect this to kill it because uh, auto pit. Yeah, <laughs> he can. In the best case, he does one damage to the turret, which is great. Um. So I will put you in a position where you can see the turret, hopefully, and kill it. I will be positioned. There we go. Turret also has. A higher hit probability now. Tell your god I'm coming. Yeah. I so need more good. ammo. Good complaining. I think we can safely move to here. As I will move here just in case. It's good that we have uh it's good that we have grenades left because I will just I don't feel like going around so I will Get just blow a hole in this wall and extract on the next turn I think and if that is the case we will have oh let's not count our chickens yet to victory There is alien activity, so there is still a pod left. It's very likely just another turret on the roof. We'll see, maybe there is another pod left. Well, you can just move up. I think... I'm ready. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm really happy that we haven't had any issues with our heavy yet. Moving to position. We might not have any issues at all. I will not go for the objective Reloaded. just yet. I'll just take this turn to reload on this gun. Back online. Just in case we run into a pod. Scanning. We're fine. My senses are I'm reloading. And yeah, let's just wait this. There's no reason Bolt to rush. I am to obey. Everybody's gonna get tired anyways, as they always do. The alien turn does take a long time for just the turret. That implies that somebody's moving around. But we probably, it probably doesn't matter at all. We can probably just, can we extract from here? I will just. She can extract, this means nobody else can. Because she has way more movement than everybody else. So I will go here. I will go. And open up the door. Because it's real. 
and I'll move out here to see if there's a pod sitting around you. here. No place for you to go now. There is. Oh, they're just sitting there. That's rude. That's very rude. Okay, so you can't see shit as per usual. I would like for you to put you in a position where you can see shit, but I don't think that will matter. I could just blow up the the wall here, which I was gonna do. Oh, there's two vipers. Okay. Is this a window or what? What the hell is this? No, this is just a, a wall. So I think we can just do the objective now, but they're probably gonna call in reinforcements as soon as we do the ob objective, so... I don't know. Where's our sniper? I think our sniper is in the worst possible position ever. So I will put her here. Not a problem. I will reload her gun, and go. then next round assuming they well they'll probably move into our field of vision that's the reason why the turns took so long uh, I will assume they'll move this direction just because they're looking in that direction so I'll put him on overwatch, overwatch. that was the wrong thing to do god damn it um, I will put him on overwatch as well, which is pretty useless since he does 2 damage. I will... So this character just bugs out every time I move him. Turn on overwatch. Now we'll see if they move. They don't. So we'll deal with this part before we do the objective, because it allows us... Not to have to deal with two pods because I'm pretty certain that they will the call move. in reinforcements as soon as we do the objective. Okay, so can I hit all three of you idiots? No, I cannot. But I can hit two, which is good as well. Get ready for a surprise! And with the specters, it's always just important you don't actually need to kill them because they don't really do damage on their first the turn. Target is marked. Unless you have them stunned or something. They just knock out one of your people and if they have a low and then they hide. And if you have low HP if they have low HP you can just um pretty much kill them. After they've knocked out your person and then get your person back. Okay. Okay. We don't What can we see? Can see the Viper? And this viper, so I will let you take a shot at this viper. Because we can pretty reliably kill the other one. Um you can I think we can kill them all. Let's just attack the spectre using melee. the spectre using our, our reaper. There we go. Return to your god. So we can melee another unit. Oh you can pretty much just I'll put you in a position where you can do the objective. Does this end my turn? No says it doesn't end my turn, so we'll just do it. I got your stuff here. And like I just said, to get they sent no more in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity, no significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. It's really it awkward me standing next to the Viper Boost doing this. With the extraction point. Um yeah, so kill the viper. Thank you. Yes. you see that? 
And Prophet, you kill the other Viper. And we are gonna take care of the reinforcements just for XP. Because we could actually just ignore them and um, extract, but we are not gonna do that. Are you? Well, that's not really that easy of a pod. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, so you can one shot this trooper, hopefully. Cover. I don't believe you can blow up that cover. Can you? Well, we'll just take care of the officer using melee. So we don't have to deal with his cover. We'll be killed by you. Good. Um, fine. I don't care. You can. Oh, well, you can't kill him. So we should. How many do I have left? Okay. So since he's in full cover, I will use my heavy to take out his cover. I'll increase my odds by putting her here. Oh, I thought she missed. Then I will attack him with my specialist. And at this point, I'll just put him next to. Oh, that's. that's well, it doesn't matter, it's a stun lancer anyways. Let's do this. He ignores um, cover. Maybe we'll just get a kill, which we did. That's score? fine. And that should be the end of this mission. Reapers are always vigilant. Oh, they did call... They well, maybe I'll just them. farm them if they keep giving me free kills, I guess. I don't think there's much downside to that. Because we were able to take out that pod without using And anyways, I can't extract her. So we do need an adi Well, it doesn't actually matter I'm because they're me. only going to be able to attack on the next turn. Scanning. Um, Overwatch. Wait, can I extract you? No. So I will move and move you and put you into Overwatch. Let's move already. So we should do quite a bit of damage to this pod. Can I extract you? I can. Great. So you can just, I guess, here just I go here. I'm on it. Put them into, put him into Overwatch. Can you be extracted? You can. Fine. Overwatch. Oh no, you can be extracted, so Overwatch. Oh, it's a pretty standard annoying. Oh boy, I really hope the purifier doesn't blow up in my face. Hey, the priest actually died. That's great. And we also killed the other guy. The purifier still has full health. And is moving at incredible speeds. There you go. Mm, I gotta feel like completely ignoring him right now. 
Oh, whatever. Let's just finish off. Wait, the shield bearer survived. And he has full health. What the fuck? Locked and loaded. That is disconcerting. But at that point, if I hadn't reloaded that gun, I probably should have just extracted her or extracted them all. Oh man, you really didn't need to miss that. That is really not good. Okay. I don't really want to move backwards, I want to stay in a position where I can extract everybody. Um, who can you... Well, she can be extracted from pretty much anywhere anyways. So, 74, 67, 74 is more than 67. And she hit her shot, which is good. You don't need to do that. You also don't need to do that. Where's my Reaper? Shoot, kill, explode. Didn't explode. One of many. We'll explode on the my next round. Uh, now we are gonna melee this this dude. Do we have our heavy left? We don't. Our heavy failed. Oh boy. If I melee him, I'll take an additional turn to extract. But it's fine. Win off the armor. Like I said, if they keep sending me free kills, I'll take them. This world is ours. There we go. Do you understand? There we go. Now? Move towards the extraction side. For the call. This, this character is always bugged out. Finally. So I'll see if they'll send reinforcements on the next turn. Overwatch. I should have reloaded his gun. And we are just gonna extract now. Because I am sick of this mission. Please extract. I can't extract my bandit, can I? Yeah, no, I can't. Bad. Do not like. I will extract you. Because at this point, they can call in reinforcements. Well, I guess if they do, I'll just. Um, Keep my people here and shoot at the reinforcements for XP. You can be extracted anyways. My watch begins. You should be able to be extracted easily. There's no benefit to extracting my units one round Someone early. You can also be extracted. On Overwatch. And skip turn. Okay, so we didn't get another round of reinforcements. Get out of which here. at this point I don't know if I would have actually taken this on because at this point it's kind of getting tiresome. Um I'm track. On my way out. Good. You also My extract. So we were able to get a lot of kills with our Reaper this round My and we didn't even get her revealed. So this is exactly the way I use Reapers most of the time because they're really useful in that case as final hitters and Just in time. Um, scout units. And they don't do a lot of damage but they aren't Going useless out. by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah. so in this mission we didn't take any damage except for the guaranteed damage of the Chosen, which is good as well. Um, at this point, if you have your first armor upgrade, at least the Chosen can't one-shot you on the first turn anymore. 
Just this good. I will take her out very soon as well. But I believe everybody will be tired and I hope this has delayed our avatar project progress. I think in the next week we're gonna be a little bit more careful just to get some of our soldiers back because everybody's tired now and we're probably gonna have a guaranteed mission on the next tur uh, next week but assuming this did reduce our avatar progress which I'm pretty sure it does um, we can relax a little bit and get our final chosen intel and kill the chosen before she can do anything annoying at all. Also in this mission we saw that a lot of the units are still just troopers. This means they're not upgraded at all. This just goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable. Oh, everybody, almost everybody leveled up, which is great. Field medic, definitely. More uses of our healing. We are gonna get better healing as soon as we. Death from above is extremely useful with the chosen weapon. Which basically you have infinite shots on, until you stop killing people. Um, sting is useful. And so is Soul Harvest. Sting I think is more useful at this point. I don't want to spend any XCOM AP at this point on her. Well, maybe a little bit. Let's just do a little bit. I don't know the combat intelligence of our other reaper because if he's very combat intelligence maybe all targeting kill zone i think all these kill zone is completely useless on reapers since they're mostly hidden and they will not attack at all tactical rigging will be useful if we can get it dead eye is also pretty useful but it there's always a chance of revealing your reaper, so maybe it's not that useful. We'll see. You can are gonna get run and gun. Which means we can do two moves before we attack or do any other move. Which is also very good. You are also promoted. Overcharge is very good. Pillar. Hmm. Okay, out of all these, uh, I will take overcharge because it allows our um, our Templar to get better faster. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility. I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. Okay, so we did reduce the black avatar process the progress by one. Even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear but the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. But I was hoping for more than one. This means we New need to work on added. reducing it further. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption behind anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. Why did you we'll have to find a means of acquire the fear of the lost? There were no so lost on this mission. Okay, so we've just pretty much prolonged our avatar thing. Excellent work, Commander. The loss of this which means we need to slow the get progress, to the next but we must remain vigilant we need to get to the next facility as quickly as possible because I want to 
Kill the chosen as quickly as possible. Okay, so this is our next facility. So we'll go here. Um, I will end this episode, but I will first take a look at our Reaper. Okay, so it's pretty clear to me that the next move is to contact these dudes. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Yes, yes. We I can't don't establish care. any new contacts that is until fine. we upgrade our systems. Blah blah blah. We also need more intel in order to get the next one. We just have to upgrade our uh, or put in engine. allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their oh, knowledge yeah. of advanced so, operations. We're now going to have to take on a mission even though everybody is injured or tired. But we will do that in the next episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a like and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.